Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video, another portfolio update. Uh, I'm going to start off with the crypto here. So as you can see, 7700 crypto portfolio value. <clears throat> so this is like equal to all time highs. Uh, it hasn't been really at that since uh, a long time ago, since before April. So yeah, it's been a long time since my portfolio crypto portfolio has been at this levels and it's kind of been fluctuating for the past couple of weeks around this value. <coughs> so I sort it by largest position size. You can see Ethereum, Cardano, Theta, XRP. They're my highest conviction cryptos and the rest is a bit smaller. Um, yeah, not too much going on in crypto this week though. Over to the stocks. So my stock portfolio is up $1,373 this week, which is 2.3%. Um, I was up a lot more, uh, but the uh, last trading day had me down a grand. Also, the um, New Zealand dollar has been performing quite well over the past week. The US dollar, so all my stocks are in US stocks, and the US dollar has been down 2.13%, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, over the past couple of weeks, the US dollar has been down 4.6%, which is actually pretty huge. That's the equivalent of my whole portfolio dropping 4.6%, which is about 2,700 New Zealand dollars uh, lost due to currency change, which is quite a lot of money, at least to me. <coughs> um, <coughs> so things that are happening this week, Tattooed Chef was on a massive run again, so last week it was up. Uh, 17% I believe for the whole week. This week it is up 10% for the week, although it hit a high of 21% up when it was $24.24. .24. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago it was down at $16. It got all the way to $16. So now that it went all the way to $24, that's a gain of 50% in just around two weeks which is insane. Um, yeah, Tato Chef has been performing super well. If you want a lot of in-depth videos into why Tato Chef is doing well and like a lot of catalysts going on behind it, you can watch financial education videos. Uh, Jeremy comes out with lots of videos and that's where I get a lot of my, or well, most of my information for Tato Chef. Um, yeah, so a lot um, a lot of my positions have been turning green over the past few weeks. You remember maybe a couple months ago, I had about half, half split of green and red, which was pretty bad. It just meant that I had sold off most of my, uh, higher gaining positions. Now I've only got five stocks left in the red. And of those, the ones that I would want to purchase more of would be Planet 13 and Corsair Gaming. Um, I don't think there's really any other stocks that I would be interested in buying at the moment. But I, I'm probably not going to put any money at the moment. i got other commitments for my money right now. Um, yeah, but uh, doing pretty well. Uh, overall, uh, my portfolio is up $17,152 now, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, Tattooed Chef actually had, what that last, on Friday, had a huge down day, so it was up a lot more. Um, down 8.11%. At the lows, it was down 10%, which is a huge negative day. Um, yeah, there's theories about short sellers, uh, well, theories, there's kind of a lot of evidence to back it up, actually. There's short sellers are lending, well, borrowing shares in order to short the stock. 
or sell stock that they don't own. And <clears throat> due to that, due to the large activity in that, there, because um, there is a high demand on shares to be lent, the lending rate of tattooed chef shares, like how much people will lend them out for, has flown all the way up to around 20%, uh, which is insane, 20% interest. Obviously, that's a yearly figure. You'd have to lend them out for an entire year to get 20%, and the rate would not stay at 20% for the entire year. But still, it's a crazy figure, 20%. Like, that's that's not normal. I think Corsair Gaming was lending for about 2%, so or even less, potentially. So, yeah, like a tenth of what Tattooed Chef was going for. So, yeah, pretty crazy stuff going on with Tattooed Chef. Um, I will yeah, show you my largest gainers. So Dropbox is still continuing to go beast mode. Uh, Square is still hanging in there, not moving around too much, even though uh, ARC funds have been selling Square. <coughs> uh, Stitch Fix is moving down, actually. I Yeah, I should have sold a long time ago. I was up like 250% on Stitch Fix. And I'd only held it for a couple of months, and I definitely should have sold at that point. Um, just because it had been such an insane growth that the uh, valuation had been pushed to an unrealistic level. But that was back in February, and uh, yeah, euphor euphoria was quite high, and I didn't think to keep track of some of the... Because I, I own too many stocks, essentially, so to keep track of them is, of all of them is quite hard. It would be quite time-consuming. Time um, Matterport has been doing really well for us, uh, up huge, 31% now, uh, unfortunately it was only a $1,000 position. Uh, and uh, LCID, um, what used to be CCIV, has been down huge, uh, another one that I was up like over 200%, and during this week it actually got close to my buy price. I believe it got down to like 17 maybe $18. So yeah, that was pretty uh, interesting. Definitely should have sold that when it was over 200% gain as well. But yeah, Tattooed Chef doing amazing at the moment. Uh, $12,500 position at the moment, which is amazing. And I'll just show you the positions in my Shazies account here. Just see them all in here to show that they're not. I'm not just uh, building a portfolio in Yahoo and actually not owning those shares. I actually do own these shares. Biggest position there, to Chef. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. My house is pretty much uh, just earning income for me now. Uh, it's covering all the expenses. The income is the rental income is enough to cover all the expenses, and that's it. So cash flow neutral, and yeah, that's all I got. All I got for this week's portfolio update. Thanks for watching. See ya.